Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can create gradient backgrounds as well as foregrounds in DaVinci Resolve. Let's see how it's done. Alright, so we'll start with backgrounds. Now there's two ways to do it. First way is to simply go to the effects panel up here, then go to generators and then drag in the four color gradient. Drag it and drop it inside your timeline. You can extend it and then click on the four color gradient and go to the inspector tab on the top right of your screen. Now here, you'll get four options to change the color. Upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. If you want four colors in your gradient, this is the way to go. But if you want two colors, all you have to do is match the upper left color with the lower left color and upper right color with the lower right color. So I'm going to show you guys. Let's match the lower left with the upper left. All right, just select pick screen and match this color and then a right color and I'll match it with the yellow. And you've got just two colors for your gradient and that's how you can create the background. Now, if you want to change the positions of the background, you can do that. But first, let's see how you can change the center, right? So horizontally, you can change the center of it and then you can also change it vertically. Yeah. So just reset it and you can also change the rotation of this and you can change the angle of it and simply zoom it in. And there you have it. Yeah. So that's how you can create it by the four color gradient method. Now, the second method, go to the effects panel here and then just drop in the fusion composition in your timeline. Then just extend it as long as you want, drag over it and simply go to the fusion page. Here, go to this little button right here that says background. Drag and drop it inside the timeline and connect it to the media out node. Then you've got a single black screen. Now, if you go to the inspector tab, there's several options right here. First, this is a solid color, right? This is just a solid background, but you want a gradient background. So you're just going to go to the type and then change it to gradient. And there you have it. Two simple colors and the gradient. So here, let's say I want this color to be yellow and just click on this little arrow and go to the color and then you can change it to anything that you want. I'm going to go with this one. Hit OK and you've got two simple colors for your gradient. You can also change the angles. All you have to do is click on these little handles and drag them as you want. Yeah. So diagonally like this you can also make it like this or top down how you want. It. Yeah. You can change the angles like that and you can also change it from here. Yeah. So custom values are also okay. Then there's a few more types. Now in gradient, let's say you want to reflect square or a radial gradient, right? So the center color will be this one and the outer color will be this one. So there's several types of gradients that you can use. Now let's see how you can create foregrounds. Yeah. So these were the two types of backgrounds. One is the four color gradient and second one is the fusion node. Now let's see foregrounds. Let's say you want just a simple gradient from below to above. And you don't want anything above. Yeah, you want it to be transparent. So a black gradient from below so you can show some text. Yeah. So how to do it is simply follow this exact method. Drag and drop in a background node connected to the media out node. And then in type change it to horizontal or vertical. Yeah. So first we are going to go with vertical. And here in vertical you've got two options. Top and bottom. All you have to do is simply take the alpha and drag it all the way to the left side. And you'll have a transparent upper side. Yeah, transparent top and you'll just have a gradient coming in from below and now you can overlay some text over it. If you go to the edit tab, you'll see a black screen. Why? Because it doesn't support the checkered screen. Yeah, if you want to see the checkered screen in fusion tab, all you have to do is go to this little button in menu and then click on checker underlay. If you don't select it, you'll see a black screen here as well. So just click on it and then select checker underlay and you'll see which part is transparent. So now if we go to the edit tab and if I let's say import some footage that I want like this. I'll drag and drop it inside and now see there's a black gradient from below. Yeah. Now let's say you don't want it as harsh as this. So just unlink it in the inspector tab and reduce its size like this and then bring it below and there you have it. Now you can put any text that you want. So that's how you can create a foreground. If we go back to the fusion page, there's a few more options. There's again the horizontal option, which will, you know, use it horizontally. You can keep the left or right transparent and you can keep any one solid. So that's how you can use the horizontal one. And then there's again four corner, which is again same as the four color grid. So that's how you can create foregrounds and transparent ones as well. Yeah. So those were all of the methods that you can create gradient backgrounds as well as foregrounds in the venture Resolve. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people. Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such DaVinci Resolve tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shots. I also have a website where I post weekly blogs about all of the stuff that I just mentioned. And that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.